Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of my Mona Me Gabby Happy Mail um, that I received from Marina. Just a really lovely gift of uh, friendship from her. So I, I will, I'll, I'll have a link for um, the first video in the description of this one in case you are watching this one first. Either way, it's going to be fine. This is going to be lots of fun sharing some goodies with you. So this one here is so pretty. I mean, really. I mean, look at the iridescent sequins and the lace, the um, applique trim, and this purple, really awesome purple, like crepe paper type of material. I want to open this and take that out. Ooh, I kind of do. So I want to see what it is. Unless there's something inside. No, there's nothing inside. This is so cool. Listen to the texture, how it sounds. I love that and that texture. I'm a very tactile person. I love this. So this is just some, you know, I'm not sure what kind of paper this is. Technically, it's pretty, you can see it's pretty um, thin. This is absolutely beautiful. Definitely going to be using this in my Purple Cottage um, craft decor. And look at this. <laughs> this is so cute. This little pink metal, uh, wire mesh uh, little baby buggy. This is adorable. So, so cute. Very cute. All right, let me get this put back in. And this is some of their corded wire trim that they have. Oh, and like in the first video, I am filming outside in our RV bay, so I apologize for any outside noise. And everything is, is packaged in these in these containers, so I don't want to take everything out and have them loose because I don't have a craft room put together yet. So I apologize in advance for all the crinkly, but um, I can't really be helped. But I do apologize. So there's some of their. Um, it's like their. Uh, what does she call this specifically? It's, you know, this is like wire and it's wrapped in like, um, oh, I can't think of it. When I edit the video, I'll put it across the top because I'm having a total brain fart right now. Okay, in this one we have all kinds of fun goodies. So we got some more appliques, some um, uh, crocheted lace trim, some more acrylic flowers. Got a little monkey right there. That's, is that a monkey or is that a bear? I can't tell what that is. I think it's a little bear. So it's like a foam little bear there thing. And then we've got some ribbons and some more of that um, leaf trim there. So these will be great to use in some fall projects as well that I'm going to be working on soon. Here we have just a packet of some paper of uh, roses. Never have enough flowers. At least I don't think so. <laughs> so there's some different colors in that. Here this has a mask and this will be fun. I have a canvas idea for this one. So definitely going to be sharing that. All kinds of sequins back here and um, some floral sprays and this right here looks like some of their it's like uh it's like rope kind of i'm not, I'm not sure what you really call that but right there so that's really neat looking too here are some more of the acrylic uh clamshell or clamshells this is a clamshell container duh abby some more of the acrylic flowers and then there's a little eiffel tower uh, metal embellishment there this one has some of um, the flat back kind of pearl mesh right here and these are great because you can cut them apart and use one use one little bit you can use a whole strip or whatever oh there's another mask that's cool that could be all right that's gonna um definitely be a cool project since i have more than one and then here are some um, flat back pearl pieces those are great um alcohol inks work really good on those too okay let me get some more things up here So if there's anything that I'm showing you and uh, you'd like to see it like in a specific project or whatever, just comment below and let me know. Try to um, describe the item as best as you can and then I'm more than happy to um, continue adding to my list of like, um, you know, viewer suggestions and things like that. So, oh, these are pretty. Look at these. These are like the melted flowers. Those are so pretty. I love those. And then there's a red set in there too, so you just kind of push this, these back in there. Try to keep each video around 20 minutes so I don't I'll bore you too much. So, now, well, this would be great. In my first video, I mentioned that I'm working on, well, I have six or seven tomes. I can't remember, I can't remember exactly. And one of them is going to be a vintage nautical theme. These, this will be great, this color here. And I can copy dye this to make it kind of match. This is some of the Italian crepe paper, and you can use this for... Um, flowers, uh, just all kinds of fun projects. So very excited about that. Here's some um, more crochet trim. I love the colors. These are very, um, these are going to work great with some fall projects I have 
since we bought our um, a new home home now we're no longer lease leaseors or rentees yeah i'm so excited so we're um, actually making some decor or i'm making a decor for our, to decorate our new home so i love that color palette it's going to work great with a couple of the rooms that we're doing um here we have some more of the baby trim i think with the pink i showed in the last one or maybe it was like a lavender i can't remember or the first video there's some more trim there really really fun but this is kind of cool looking stuff i don't think i've ever had this before let's open this one up and th the reason i'm not opening every single package up is because i am not a fast crafter and i'm not like a really like this with filming videos so um i feel like it would be like you know a full 24 hours or something before i would get all of it done so i'm trying to show you as best as i can um in the packs and the packages i have never seen this before i have no idea what you would even call this like um it's really cool looking this, this looks like like embroidery thread or something in the middle there this is really cool it's not stretchy well i guess it is a little bit there's a little bit of give to it i've never seen this before this is going to be really fun to create with this so put that over there put the bag over there too so i don't lose the baggie here we just have some um glitter like paper tape and then we have some more little embellishments in here card shakers and more is what they she lists those as so little floral bits there this one has just some different um, embellishments like some bling bits and then there's some a really pretty polka dot um, sheer lilac trim inside here's one of the bling bits these are great to put in the center for flowers and then oh this trim was in that one with the with this I didn't know what it was called this is beautiful. I love this. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so perfect. Um, I am always thinking of projects and different things in my head. Um, and I'm working on one for um, a, uh, I'm altering one of our nightstand table lamps. So I think this is going to go great with that project. So there's that. And then here we just have some buttons, a black um, lace up or black applique, and then some red flowers. There's that. And this one has a ton of different things in it. Some um, burlap trim. There's some flowers. There's some more of the bling uh, mesh. There's some bling like on a, you know, a strand. Oh, I'm not sure what to call that. Little paw print um, trim. And some acrylic flowers. I think I already said that. And then some larger flowers there. So all kinds of goodies in that bundle. And then this one. Um, ooh, this is like... Oh, this is really cool. This looks like, you know, scraps of fabrics. And I love, I love little bits of scraps and just, I love that kind of stuff. And little snippets and stuff. So these will be great to use in some projects. All this will be great to use in projects, Abby. Just stop saying that. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to stop saying that. There's like a, la a little lace doily and there's some lace trim there. That'll be a fun one. Well, they're all going to be fun. Okay, getting close to the bottom now. Oops, I just, one of these just opened on me, so let's see. I'll do the ones that opened, I'll do those last or in a separate video so you can um, see those. Some really pretty paper roses, love these, and they're in my color. Yay! Love, love, love. Purple makes me so happy. So here's another bundle that she had together. You can see kind of more of the same, just some different ribbons. Oh, this one's got a little ink pad in it some trims and these kind of like wire netty type of sprays more sequins some larger flowers so there's some bling in there all kinds of goodies in there and this is um, some of their trim it's this one I have some where it's like I think it's six or eight wide but this one looks like it's just the three wide I'm sorry I wasn't even showing you I'm so sorry Ugh. Abby, get it together. <laughs> it's been a while since I filmed like a proper video, so since we moved. But that's really cool looking. Awesome. There's a really good amount on there. Here are some different trims again. You can kind of see the different colors in there. And then same with this one. Just looks like some sisal rolled up, some more flowers, acrylic bits, um, some different trims. Now, this is not a shade that I, I craft in, but I have um, a few different ways where you can alter this where it fits into your kind of like um, style or theme of your project. So that's definitely going to get added to the box. Well, the tote that I have of things like this that I want to alter a little bit. So definitely going to be adding that to that. So, um, 
These are, I showed these in the first video. I won't take them out, but they're just these little tins like this that you can alter. And, you know, do what you want with it. So this is a whole container of them. Definitely going to be sharing those. I don't need that many for myself. Okay. These are so, so pretty. Okay, so this one here has some more of their bling mesh, some of their, you know, acrylic beads um, together, lace appliques, got some satin flowers that she's put together, some um, different types of trim and lace in there, and then got this little lace here, got some of their pearl trim, all kinds of fun. Ooh, there's a cameo in there. I just now saw that. Really, really, really cool, fun goodies in this one, so really, really fun. I love this trim. I've, I've used this before on a couple of design team projects. Um, gosh, a couple years, no, probably three years ago, I think. And, or maybe two, I can't remember exactly, but anyway, it doesn't matter. But this is really cool. You can cut this apart and have just one rose. You can make it into one strip instead of a three wide strip. Just real versatile. And this is just really, really pretty. Glad to have more of that. This is kind of like a mixed bag as well. Ooh, there's some purples in it. See the different, you know, trims and burlap and, Oh, look at that. Look at, look at this. This is pretty. It's not my color, but it doesn't matter. Not everything has to be purple, but oh my gosh, you guys, look at how beautiful this is. I love this. Again, Abby, be in frame. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Please forgive me. This is what it looks like. This is so pretty. When I have my last, my, my craft room table, my viewing and uh, my filming and stuff set up, I could hold this a little bit closer to me and you could still see it. And because I could put my knees under my table, so I apologize if I keep doing that. I'm trying to be conscious of it. Okay, let's put this back in here so I don't have a big tangled mess. You can kind of see the different goodies that are in this one. Ooh, I almost got music notes. That's cool. I like that one a lot too. Okay, now let me put some of these down here. Oh, I just opened that bag. The top opened and everything just flew out <laughs> onto the floor. Yay, Abby. Okay, so let's get down to the bottom here. Grab a few things. This one might be a little bit over 20 minutes because I don't want to make a separate video for just like a small amount of things. So. Okay, almost there. This I'll show you at the end because it's just super cute. So here's some of their um, like the velvet plush kind of tool. This is so cool. The little polka dots are like velvet and they're purple. Yay! All right, this is a bag full of just the organza bags, um, like this one, but they're green. So I'm not going to open this up, but there's a ton in there. So definitely going to be, um, you know, gifting some of these off to some crafty friends and stuff. or And used as packaging um, for commission pieces and things that I make just to sell. So here, um, again, more of the same. There's some different flowers. There's some gold trim. This I'm going to um, use in one of my Craftmas 2018 projects. I'm going to alter this a little bit, so it'll be fun. I'll show you how I do that. Um, there's some purple flowers in there. There's like some little bits. This is like kind of a cameo. I think this is. It is. Let's flip this one around. A really pretty cameo in there, so that's cool. Um, this container is full of, oh my goodness, all kinds of fun things. This looks like some of their flat back uh, bling. Where it's got like the, you know, the fake diamond on the front of it or top of it. Got some different masks and all kinds of little bling bits and some other pom-pom trim and um, all kinds of good stuff in there. Very excited to dig through these bags once I, or these containers once I um, my craft room is set up. This one is just full of some white paper roses. Love that. And these are a nice large size. Definitely going to alter these containers too for something. And some more flowers in there. Oh, these are cute. It says new baby. And oh, those are really cute. I might actually, I'm really glad that these are, are blue because I can use this for a scrapbook that I'm making for Emily for Kyron, which is um, our little grandson. He's 18 months now. That'll be really cute. Definitely going to use some of these chill bits in my um, Trigeminal Neuralgia Oak Craft um, Series Awareness Week. Sorry, there's a bee out here and it was trying to land on me. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, I'm going to pause because I need to try to get this bee off of me <laughs> right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I thought it was my hair. I could feel something like on the back because I have a tank top on. I could feel something on the back of me and I was like, no, my hair is because I, I have my hair up in a bun. I'm like, no, that's not my hair because it was like too far down. And it was a flipping bee on my back or I don't know what bee or wasp. I'm not sure what it was, but it didn't sting me luckily. And I kind of shoot it out of here. So 
Oh, sorry about the interruption there. So some I think I left off on this one. There's some flowers in there. Oh no, I think I left off on this one, the baby stuff. So here are some more of the bonbons. Now, I think I shared a smaller container of these in the first video, but these are so cool, you guys. I, They're just, you know, let me kind of open one and kind of show what they look like. I've used, used these before on, oops, on different craft projects. And let me stand up so I can make sure I'm in frame. So they look like this. That's the bottom, that shiny part. That's the bottom of it. And then you flip it up and you can kind of see the color. So Marina calls these bonbons because they're like the little tiny bonbons. And they're really fun to use. And what I will do, because I definitely have them, this, I, this is more than I would use in probably three lifetimes. This is a lot of the bonbons. So I'm going to make up some um, smaller containers, maybe like in these of the bonbons. And I'll use them for giveaways. Um, you know, future giveaways and like when I'm doing like a live show with my um, craft BFF Michelle Scott, like maybe be giving some different things away during those live shows. So um, I'll definitely do that. And I'm going to do a video um, showing you how I, what did he use for these and like a really kind of quick way to get these down without having to try to fuss and fiddle, flip it over the bottom you know, was on your scrapbook page or whatever project you're working on. So there's that. There are the bonbons. Now it's making me wish I could have it like a real bonbon. <laughs> so this little umbrella, this is so adorable, you guys. She had these, she was selling these at her booth. I think it was in Anaheim for last year's Scrapbook Expo. And I am so happy that she had one left so, oh, so I could have one. This is definitely going to get altered in some lilac um, adorations and whatnot. Flowers for my craft room. So really, really super cute. I just love this. I'm going to actually ask her if she has more than just one because I, I would like to give some of these away as well. Okay, now, sorry, my neighbor is just pulling in, so it's kind of loud. Okay, let me grab just a few more little bits and pieces, and then we are done. Okay, so this is the bag that flopped open. I think I mentioned it in the first video. So let me just grab it all the little bits out of here so I can show them to you. Okay, so this is not related to this haul at all. This is some tissue paper. I can't remember what, uh, can't remember what it was we ordered that this came wrapped in it. This almost feels like glassine tissue paper, and I've never seen paper like this before, and it's so cool looking. So I kept it. I have more than this, but it's in another box. I kind of use this as like padding. We were packing to move, so I just wanted to share that with you real quick. Okay, so just one of the packs that was opened. This is more of that um, kind of like rose trim, but this is in a really pretty kind of um, gold, kind of dark, um, just, I, don't, I don't think it'd be black, maybe, I'm not sure. This would be great for some fall projects too. So there's some different trim in there. Got some little gold roses, and I have a way to alter those. If gold is not your taste or it's too bright of a gold, I have a couple of different ways that I alter that those um, items. That, um, that are that color so I will film a video and share that with you too. What is this? Let me open those in a second. These are so cool. I did a uh, mixed media um, a palette board for my husband's uh, office and because he's an outdoorsman as I mentioned before and I used some of these um, on a picture. I'll put, if I remember I'll take a picture and throw it up in here as I'm talking about it but it's also a design team project so I, I will link the video below as well and um, these are really cool too. And I used that on that project for him. Oh, this is great, too. I love that. This would be good for Christmas. Or even some of the outdoor projects I use for my I make for my husband. So, all right. So there's that. Now let's take a peek at what was in here. These are like little, oh, look at these. They're like little felt shirts or, you know, like a little baby dress or something. <laughs> Those are really cute. This would be fun. Like you could add some of the itty bitty flowers to it if you wanted to. That's the back side looks like, so you can use the back if you want to. Those are really cool. I've never seen those before, so that'll, those will be fun. Here are some um, more of the, well, these are actually flat back pearls in this one, but they're they're white. You're not going to be able to probably see the true color because of the bag. And then there's just some more little bling bits in there, so there's that. This is the one that pops open all the way, so everything's spilled out. 
just um, you know, flower, and I have ways of toning down this kind of shade of purple. Now, I love purple. Uh, I, if I could have my blood be purple, I mean, one of my hashtags on Instagram is um, I bleed purple because I'm just so obsessed with it. This isn't one of my most favorite shades of purple, but I have ways of toning this down and changing it into the shades that I do like um, of purple, more like the lilacs and lavenders and, you know, darker colors like that. So definitely we'll share that video with you. And then we have some um, trim here that was in there, a good length of that. Um, this one, I'm showing you, you the, the reason I'm showing you these individually is because the bag opened. Um, these are all going to stay in the bags that I shared with you until I get ready to work on projects. So if there's something specific and you wanted to see um, more of the contents like in, let's see, like one of these bags that has a lot of stuff in it. Just try to describe the, the bag in which video, um, describe the bag as best as you can. And I'm more than happy to do a separate video showing you those items up close. So it won't be right away, but I'll do it as soon as I can. So this is like some of the glittery, blingy um, trim there. And then we have this this uh, ribbon here. So so there are some things in these bags that aren't my st uh, my crafting style or my preference for materials to use. This is one of them. There's nothing wrong with this. This is just not a, a color that I would probably use on a project. So I'm going to have some things that decide that I'm, I can gift on to other people. And the same with this one here. There's nothing, you know, you know, there's nothing wrong with these or, you know, like this one is super cute, super cute, but I don't, you know, I don't really craft with this type of um, ribbon anymore. I did I did more in my scrapbooking days, but um, it's really super cute, but I don't really have any pictures or projects I could use these on. So I will definitely be sharing these things. Not trying to sell them, sharing them with my friends, like in racks or future giveaways, things like that. Here are some sweet little pink uh, little roses. Those are super cute. Um, what else was in there? I did this. I did that one. That's it. I think that's it, everybody. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's everything. So thanks so much for sticking through um, with me on this uh, super, super thoughtful gift for my friend Marina with Mona Me Gabby. I'm very appreciative that she just gifted all of this to me. So so that is why I would never try to sell something from these or like, um, you know, if I looked at this bundle, I'm like, nah, there's nothing in there I think I would really use. I'm going to try to sell it for like, you know, five bucks or whatever. I would never do that when somebody gifts something to me. That's just not what I do. So if there's things in here, and there are several things in here actually that um, are, are not, don't fit in with my kind of crafting style or aesthetic. And I'm going to either put them in like giveaways or just kind of bundle things up and gift them to my friends who I think would like to use these different items. And um, I know there's like different art programs around here in the town we are living in now and lots of grade schools and stuff. So maybe they would like to have these for art projects and stuff for the kids in classes. So that's what I'm going to be doing with things that I personally won't be using in my crafting. So just kind of wanted to, to throw that out there. But I'm definitely going to be sharing these. I mean, this is a ton. And I have some that are in um, just purple, like a lilac color, um, a clear. But you, this, this is like a really nice mix of um, different colors. It almost looks like a kind of a fall slash Christmas blank. So there's like some green in there and I see a little red, some brown and some orange. So definitely going to be sharing those too. And I think that's it. So I'm going to stop this video because I'm done. And I'm going to be starting another video. Um, I picked up a couple of things from a flea market I went to with my um, friend Mindy a couple weekends ago. And I have a couple of them I'm going to be you know, altering, like changing the paint color and everything. So I'm going to get started on that one. So I will see you all soon. So happy scrapping, happy planning, and happy crafting. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, I had to come back on and share this with all of you. So remember when I was showing this to you? early in the video, um, it has tea in it, a little tea bag in it, or sample of tea, and this really, really pretty floral um, is an envelope, and then inside there was something in this gingham bag, and I thought, I just assumed it was like more tea bags or something, so I opened that bag up to check it out, and these were what were in that bag. Marina bought these bracelets for me. They are so pretty. I don't know if she made them or not, but um, these are just just so beautiful. I love these so much, you guys, and they match my, they're my colors, and I'm trying to get them on my hands here so you can see a little better. So yeah, these really cool looking bracelets.
these are just so gorgeous marina thank you so much you're so good to me and um i looked in the back here and a little velcro really cute little envelope idea and then this was inside and um that's her company leah leone it's another one of her companies and um this says my sweet abby whoops my sweet abby hope you feel better love um, enjoy marina and crew thank you so much you guys totally totally spoil me so this is obviously um the braces are from this company she has and then she has the moment me gabby which is the crafting company and um, couture craft things that i shared with you um in the in the haul video so yeah just wanted to kind of come back on real quick and show these to you and put them on real quick for you here too so you can see them on my wrist and this is just such a thoughtful gift i am truly blessed with the best um crafty friends and support system out there so these are just beautiful and they will definitely lift my spirits when i wear them and yeah love them so much so just want to share that with all of you i'll see you all next time bye